welcome back to my channel. So today I will be sharing two grocery hauls with you guys. First, I will be sharing with you a Walmart grocery pickup order, which we ended up spending about, I'll say $100. And this is for two weeks worth of food so far, unless we need like some stuff in between. But luckily we didn't need much. And then I have a small grocery list for Costco. So once Costco opens, because Costco opens like at 10 o'clock, um, which I think is pretty late to me. And we'll go to Costco, get what we need. Also, we'll show you guys around as well. So let me show you guys this grocery haul. All right, y'all. So first I wanted to start off with some almond bark. So I got this to do some chocolate covered strawberries for the kids. And then my plan is for me to uh, do like... Um, you know like the halloween sprinkles on there for so it'll be like a nice cool treat it said even says right there um microwavable because normally i would use chocolate chips but i'm trying to follow the rules y'all know what happened to my chocolate pie when you watched one of my last videos so i also got a bag of kidney beans some parsley uh one green bell pepper and then one red bell pepper i also got some mozzarella some sour cream. I got the turkey um, breast sandwich meat. I think we might get some more from Costco, um, but it helps when I make sandwiches for the kids' lunches. We also got some pepperoni, because my plan next week to use my bread machine to make some pizza dough, so like that can make homemade pizza. I'm excited, y'all. I also got a bag of boneless, skinless, frozen chicken thighs. Four things of chicken broth as well. I usually keep this in my pantry and I'm completely out. Some Duke's mayonnaise, we go through it a lot and that's my favorite brand. Some bananas, some chicken stock that I have for a recipe for next week. I don't know if I'm gonna film it or not, but if you guys wanna try it out, it's all in my fall dinners link down in my description box. Two gallons of milk, I always get the organic one because <laughs> takes a long time to expire I also got some chicken thighs I got the one with the skin on it for a um, for a dinner that I want to roast some chicken thighs in the oven so this one is with the skin on it some Cheerios this is one of Destiny's favorite cereals and then we got frosted flakes for Davin David doesn't really eat cereal like that sometimes but not often um, some baby potatoes some strawberries for the ch chocolate covered strawberries. So I have that and then I have some loaf bread to keep in the deep freezer because we always keep um, bread in the deep freezer. And yes, you can freeze bread. It's completely fine once you thaw it out within an hour. It's come. It looks exactly the same and feels exactly the same. So that is everything that we got from Walmart. Sometimes we still go to Walmart and get a few things that I might need or let's just say if my taste buds, you know, if I'm craving something and I wanna try something new, that's when I go to Walmart and get some more stuff. But um, grocery pickup, this time, normally grocery pickup pick always mess up one item. Now there's something that they're doing now where they're shipping an item if they don't have it anymore in store. So they'll ship it to you instead, which is something new. I've never tried that before, but what I've been noticing and I've been doing this research is the fact that all grocery stores and places like places like Costco and stuff. Remember in my last grocery haul, I think I said Costco only lets you get um, one toilet paper, one paper towel. It's because they're having shipping problems. So same thing with Walmart, they're having shipping problems. So they'll ship the item to you if they don't have it in store. So you guys remember when I said that we had a small list for Costco? We do, <clears throat> we do pretty much. But I forgot the list at home. Luckily, I, I remember most of it of what we need maybe if i see it i remember it sometimes i pick a little bit more than what i have on my list just sometimes just sometimes i mean you know you never know what you're gonna see when you get there or if something's on sale you know that's my excuse but i'm trying to remember everything i need i'm all i'm hoping i get to pick up some pumpkins today it might not be at costco of course it might be somewhere else like um sorry for this on you guys it might be somewhere else like Aldi or something like that. So you guys, 
guys i heard about these signs that they have here they're only ten dollars and they are reversible let me see look they're only ten dollars john yeah this would cost so much more at hobby lobby i love them i love them so definitely check it out if you're looking for something like this look at these little belgian chocolate pumpkins these are so cute I like looking at stuff like this. I was looking, I also want to find, see if I can find some fall or Halloween pasta. Cause I would not mind um, getting something like this. Maybe the kids will like this. We're also going to get a pack of the Halloween fruit flavor snacks. And I have to add some more into my um, jar. The kids and John been going right through these. Yeah, um, I'm over here looking for their candles. The vanilla ones are my favorite ones out of all of them. I was hoping they would have their fall candles, but I don't even see their fall candles either. We're over here looking at their meats. They actually redid this whole store, you guys, because the last time we were here, they were under construction, I think. They're completely finished. It looks so much nicer. Just pricing out their stuff. I also found this box of cookies. Great for dipping. It's kind of like the Oreo cookies. I like that. I think we're going to try it out. How much is this? I don't see the price. Yeah, so I did not find any pumpkins in there i did get some um fall halloween specialty products from there so we're getting ready to head off to costco you guys this candle is so pretty this is 16.99 mixing bowls 15.99 these are nice we're looking at the toys 16.99 for this what do you think? Mm -hmm. so you're making a whole here. Oh my god, yes. Up there. Mm -hmm. Y'all, this is a 3D puzzle, $24.99, which I think the boys would like that for something like that for Christmas. What you think? Well, they got the Harry Potter ones and the Mandalorian. I think they would prefer the Mandalorian. Look at these bath mats. I like them. They're eleven ninety nine. It has a star on it, which means it's camera. It's not coming back. I always get these white um, hospitality washcloths and hand towels because I prefer to get these because you could just bleach them so much better. So this one is $16.99 and then this one is $12.99. Y'all look at these pillows. They're $16.99. <laughs> They're huge. You see that? How long these are? Oh, wow. I like it. It is soft. It's so soft. Yeah, I like it. And then if you, you're a pet owner, especially a dog owner, they have these as well. These are $13.99. They're pretty good. They're pretty big. See, I just recently bought this pillow right here, but I like these. And this price went, no, this price went up because I only paid $9.99. Unless they have them in the wrong spot. But I also like these as well. Also looking at these um, comforter sets, they're really good. Um, a three-piece set for $59.99 and $49.99. Okay. What? Mm. Oh. oh, that's really good. And it has a star in it, which means it's getting ready to go. They got also some heated um, throws, like the blanket, the queen blanket, but they now have some heated throws for $29.99. I think that's pretty cool. Yeah. And they also have this laundry um, deluxe um, bag that you put your laundry in it, and it's like a boot, like a you know you could carry it. I think that is so cool. I can walk around here all day. I think this tree is so pretty, and it's ninety nine, ninety nine. It's right here. These trees, these trees. Well, it's like it goes in a vase, and it's fourteen ninety nine. 
guys some hot cocoa balls. Yeah, eighteen sixty nine. I wouldn't mind trying this. Look, butter pecan melt away. It's nineteen mm -hmm. Yeah, I like it. I see these are back. These are so good. Wow, do you see this? $12.99, oh my God. Hey guys, we are now back. So I'm gonna show you what I got from Aldi and then I will show you our Costco grocery haul. All right guys, so I got a box of fruit flavor snacks. This has, it says now with no artificial flavors or certified synthetic colors. So I thought this was pretty cool to get to the get the kids. Now we don't have a Trader Joe's nearby, so Aldi and Lidl's is the closest thing to the Trader Joe's that we have for us to go to one. The closest one to us is in Columbia, South Carolina. I also got the kids some pumpkin face cream. I think I think these are so cool, and this is only nine a dollar ninety nine because I was looking for the price and they didn't have it up. It was only a dollar ninety nine, so most likely I will go back and get the kids some more. So basically, it's just kind of like a junk type of thing, you know, a little treat for them. So I got some fall party cakes, some little Debbie cakes, some fall ones. You already seen that I got the kids some um, pumpkin, Belgian chocolate pumpkins. So I thought that was pretty cool. Some muscadimes. They're kind of like, they're not grapes. I don't know how to explain it. Now, if you're, let's say, in the Dominican Republic, we will call these like either limoncillo or canepa. But these are like little, it has, this one here has like little tiny seeds and you suck on them and then you throw the skin out. It's very good, by the way. John introduced this to me. Got some candy corn for the kids. I don't like candy corn. Don't want nothing to do with it, but I keep it in a jar and the kids and John eat it. And then John picked this mess out. I don't eat this, but he does. He actually likes it. So, oh well. So this is what we got from Aldi. Now from Costco, I needed some more Kool-Aid jammers. I put this in the kids' lunch boxes. I also got two cases of Powerade. They had these shoes on sale at Costco and I, they were $19.99 or something like that. Now these are men's shoes, but these are for me. Like in the men's, I'm an eight and a half and these are so comfortable. Now my favorite shoes are Adidas. The ones that I have are like burgundy color. Now these are also, um, the same kind just in a different color so i had to get me a pair for 19 bucks you guys you can't beat that so i got that i got four things of a uh, four pack of pepperoni pizza we eat this for lunch or whatever or maybe like a quick dinner on a you know school night it's good to have frozen pizza in your freezer it's come in handy especially when sometimes the neighbor kids come over and they're here around lunchtime but i just fix everybody some pizza the kids really love some Z-Bars in their lunchbox. These are very good, so I'll get them this. I also got them some uh, pink apples, some onions. I love getting my onions from either Costco or Sam's Club because they last a lot longer in the fridge. It's been, I have to say, when I get them from there, it lasts about four months in my refrigerator. I don't have to worry about them going bad. Now, I cook a lot, so they don't last that long, but it's lasted that long for me. They, they do a pretty good job. This, we stopped by Sam's Club and we got some ranch just so we get so we could get this ranch because it's so good, y'all. This is like the best thing, closest thing to homemade ranch I, I have personally tasted because I used to make my ranch dressing because I don't like the regular one, but this one's the closest thing to um, homemade ranch. So now I don't make it myself anymore. I also got some Hillshire Farm sandwich meat. This one has turkey breast, honey ham, and tur smoked turkey breast. This one is the oven roasted one. Now, if you've never tried this juice before, I definitely recommend it. It is addictive and it's so good at Costco. They just came out with a strawberry banana one. I don't really like banana flavor stuff, but this is so good. Now we got some burnt ends, uh, fully cooked, ready in a few minutes smoked beef brisket and i missed the one from when we went to charlotte i didn't get to taste it and john and i've been wanting to try this so i saw this in someone else's grocery haul see i watch grocery hauls too 
and I was like, next time we go to Costco, we was we were gonna get, pick up one. So I can't wait to try that. I also got some pasture raised eggs. I got two cartons. We get the pasture raised eggs. Like you guys can even see the difference in a yolk. It's very dark orange. It has a lot more nutrition. So that's the one that we always get. I needed another pack, six pack of cream cheese. Now, last time I went to small groups, I took a big cream cheese and it was gone. It was all gone. I even shared the recipe here with you guys. And let's just say they want me to make another one. <laughs> so I don't mind. So I'll make another one this week for them. A four pack of ground turkey. I needed some more chicken breast as well. So I got some of that. Now it's very hard to find chicken wings right now. And the normal bag that they used to, that I used to buy, used to be $18.99. The price went up to $32 now or $29.99, something like that. So $10, $10-11 it went up. So I'm not paying that. So I just got this to put it in the air fryer. We'll eat all this all at one time. I got two packs of the ground beef. I like to get them like this. Um, it's very convenient, which I'm about to take two, two of them out now because um, I'm making picadillo tonight. So um, that's what I, I like to get them like this. It's so much more convenient. I got some Snapple and then I got the Caramel Premier Protein for my coffee. I, it helps me cut back on the sugar. So at Costco, we ended up spending about $250. Um, when you cook a lot at home, it goes pretty fast. And then I shop at least a few times in a month. I try not to get it all at once because of the fact that you need space for all that stuff. So this is everything that we got so far. Well, we got for the next two weeks. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. And keep a lookout for my next videos, you guys. Bye.